In the Design tab, you can create three types of elements. First, you have the visual elements. Visual elements are really the building blocks of your app. They allow you to insert text, buttons, images, videos, uh, all sorts of elements. Then you also have the containers. Containers allow you to display things and to group different elements. And the third uh, element is import forms. And import forms allow the user to input data. Bubble is a drag and drop tool. So whenever you want to add a new element, you just click on the element, for example, text, and you draw it on the page where you want it to be. And each time you add an element, you will notice two things. First, it appears on the elements tree here. And the second thing is that a property editor will appear. The property editor is this gray box and it will allow you to customize how your element appears and is displayed. The property editor um, has three tabs which allow you to customize your elements. Uh, the first one, appearance, allows you to customize uh, many things uh, style-wise and how it will appear. So first I'm going to edit my text. So let's say join the community. Okay. And I can also edit the style. Uh, I'll remove the style and choose a different font. Okay. I'll make it look uh, bigger. Nice. And maybe I'll make it a light gray. Okay. Um, in the conditional tab, you can, you can define conditions. Uh, you can say when this happens, then this text element is going to look that way. For example, when the page is smaller, uh, you can choose to make the font smaller, for example. I'll show you this example. Like, let's say when the current page width is smaller than this. Let's say I don't want this element to be visible, for example. And then we have the transitions uh, tab, which allows you to animate styles. 